Hey, good afternoon. This is Susan Thomas from Rick's Play, and I'm so excited to have the vet Juan Carlos Galan here with me. He's doing a vet check, and today we want to talk a little bit about the importance of the horse's back and how saddle fit is a very important part of that. Because we're really seeing, he's seeing in his practice, and I'm seeing with the horses that we're really having a serious problem with kissing spine and a lot of back problems in horses. So, um, can you tell me briefly about what you're seeing in your practice? And we're going to be speaking a little bit in English and in Spanish. So, we hope everybody gets it. ¿Qué estás viendo en con los caballos en tu práctica con los con los problemas de espalda? Bueno, últimamente en exámenes precompra hemos puesto mucho interés en tomar placas radiográficas de, de la columna vertebral, especialmente en la espalda, torácicas, vértebras torácicas y vértebras lumbares, porque nos hemos dado cuenta de, de problemas muy serios, tanto musculares, ya se ha producido por malas, malas eh, monturas, malos albardones, o por problemas de, de manejo, una mala posición eh, constante pues te va a, a, a modificar la tonalidad de un lado de los músculos o de otro, vas a tener músculos débiles de un lado, músculos contraídos de otro lado, hemos lidiado con muchos problemas de contracturas musculares que te pueden desencadenar subluxaciones y pueden llegar a tener eh, vértebras que se, que se besan. I'm going to translate a little bit in English for those of you that don't speak Spanish. He's saying that one thing that he's really um, focusing a lot lately on his vet checks is looking at problems in the back. And this can obviously be from, um, from poor saddle. It can be from a lot of things. Uh, poor position by the rider. It can be from, um, you know, a... Uh, a shoe problem, you know, a, a poor farrier. There's many, many reasons for this. And so, and it has a lot of uh, repercussions in uh, the horse as far as, you know, not only um, with the back, but as far as muscle and um, work. And the, oh, that was another thing he also said, um, poor work habits on part of the rider can also have a very negative effect on the horse. Um, you know, if somebody rides, if somebody's, you know, very heavy and bouncing on the horse's back, the horse's head is in the air, all of those are going to add up and have a, a cumulative effect on the horse's back and on, his horse's, on the horse's health. Yeah, and by the way, some years ago, uh, we didn't put attention like a vet, we didn't put attention on the back problems because we didn't uh, know a lot of things. By chiropractic work, we used to put attention on the back and also the saddles because the main problems, most of the main problems, could be on the saddle. Mm -hmm. And once a problem, once a horse um, starts having a problem with the back, it can very quickly um, turn into a big problem. And one of the things that you're doing at your clinic now is, like you said, chiropractor work, and you also have a swimming pool, and um, sometimes you don't get the horse until surgery is necessary. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. I agree with you. And we're using a lot of things, the new, new, new kind of things like ozone therapy. Ozone? Ozone therapy. therapy. Okay, I think it's working amazing. Also, all the regenerative medicine mm -hmm. works great with ozone therapy. Mm -hmm. And as you, as a vet, would you recommend that prevention is so much easier and less expensive um, Lot much than waiting until the horse really has a serious problem where you're looking at? surgery and rehab and, and all of that and what would you tell people to look for if they think that they that the horse might have a problem or pain in 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 the spine or in the back well uh, it's a good question because it, it, it's not an easy one to uh, answer but I think that when you 
feel that your process is not moving good or normal, I think you you should put attention on, on the back. Uh, I used to uh, uh, teach the, 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 or educate the people that work with the horses that when they are grooming the horse, you can feel some points of uh, tiger points or some uh, pain points on the horse. And that's a good way to, to know that the horse has something. Before, before it gets really bad. Yeah, before it gets... Because bad. what I'm getting is um, by the time a lot of people bring the horse to me, they're, they've ignored the fact that when you go to put the, the saddle on the horse, the horse is moving around and the horse sees it and the horse doesn't want the saddle on. They're ignoring that and they're still riding the horse. And the horses will come to me when they have serious conduct problems. Bolting, rearing, bucking, and all of that. And, and so many times it can be attributed to back problems. And so then they come to me and then the first thing I do is call the vet and bring the vet in. But if we can educate people so they will be looking for, um, you know, if there's pain in the back, before the conduct gets serious, just call your vet and have them check to make sure that the horse is okay, the saddle's fitting, um, you know, and everything, everything is good so that you're not going to, um, you have a serious problem with your horse later down the line. Yes, I agree with you. And another uh, big issue is that most of the times you, you, you notice that your horse is not moving good or there's some issue with the working, uh, the performance of the horse is not doing well. And a lot of the guys it's put just some. Pain. It's pain. And they put inflammatories or painkillers oh, and they're still working with, with them. And you can turn to a big, big problem. Yeah, because aren't they, aren't they then just masking the problem? Yeah, that's it. But the problem is just, just if you don't get to the bottom of it, it's just going to get worse, worse and, and worse, worse yeah. and worse and worse. And it's just going to get more expensive and more expensive and more expensive. So I really appreciate you nice spending pleasure. a couple of times with us and coming out and send our horses. Yes, and if sure. anybody in the Guadalajara area, would like to um, know more about Juan Carlos Galan, please contact me at Mex Creek and I will send you the contact information. Thank you very much. Thank you.